uh, Thomas Kessler, who is the product manager for Dara Pharma, is going to present uh, the pharmaceutical module line. Good morning, and welcome to the Virtual Pharma Expo, and thank you for taking the time to attend. My name is Tom Kessler, and I work for NJM Packaging, a ProMock company. I serve as the DARA product manager in the US and Canada, and today we will be presenting a DARA nested filling line, handling ready to use vials. Before we do, I'd like to take the time to talk a little bit about ProMock, NJM Packaging, and DARA. Promoc is a family of best-in-class packaging machinery manufacturers, many of which you may know. Our 42-plus brands are divided into many business units. Our 80-plus manufacturing sites and 38 employees have delivered over 125,000 packaging machines globally in our history. In 2020, we provided over $1 billion in packaging machinery manufactured to the world. And in 2021, we expect to be just under $1.5 billion. My business unit is Promoc Pharma, and we have several companies to serve you. PharmaWorks is best known for their thermoforming machinery and cartoners. Serpa is also best known for their cartoning machinery case packing and end-of-line handling. Weiler Labeling Systems, which many of you may know, is known for their pharmaceutical vial and high-speed pressure-sensitive labeling machines. And finally, NJM Packaging is my brand. NJM has been supplying packaging machinery to the industry for over 100 years. And our unique combination of manufacturer, integrator, and representative has allowed us to provide world-class solutions to both the oral solid dose and the aseptic fill finish markets. Our partner DARA was founded in 1996 in Barcelona where they continue to grow and manufacture. They've serviced hundreds of customers around the globe. And if you don't see your name on our list, we hope we will soon. Their strategic goal has been to provide complete aseptic fill finish solutions to the pharmaceutical industry, including vials, pre-filled syringes, cartridges, both in bulk and ready to use formats. Their line runs from tabletop machinery all the way to fully automated systems operating at speeds in greater than 400 per minute. Today, the processes we will see will be debagging, delitting, inner liner removal, extraction of the nest. Filling of the vial, insertion of the stopper at lyo depth, automatic loading into the freeze dryer, insertion of stopper by the freeze dryer, automatic unloading of the tray. Now I would like to introduce you to the new business development manager of DARA and my good friend, Joanne Millet. Good morning, Joanne. Good morning, Tom. We want to welcome you and all the attendees to this event. Today, we will introduce you a complete filling line for a ready-to-use products, vials, syringes, cartridges. The line today is set for vials to process with the complete process for uh, debugging, tieback removal, filling, half stoppering, and finally loading and unloading of a complete system. The system starts with an operator uh, taking a back and proceeding automatically 
works with uh, semi-automatic debugging, where the operator manually takes the tap, straightens the back, and properly position it onto the knife area. Once the sides are fixed through a double pushing button for safety, the process starts. Automatically then we cut the back, open it, and push it through the next station. For anyone interested in fully automated debagging systems, we offer that module as well. After debagging, we'll be moving on to delitting, inner liner removal, filling, and stoppering at Lyo depth in the NFL. Back to Barcelona. One tap is transferred. It automatically arrives to the heating station for the automatic tieback removal. Once the tap arrives to the heating station, the heating starts automatically in order to remove the tieback without particle generation. And the robot combines the tieback removal with a smooth movement, removing the tieback and then putting it into the trash. And immediately after, proceed to remove the inner liner in a flat position and going back to the trash again. The tap then is transferred to the next module for filling and half stoppering. When the tap arrives to the filling position, the system combines the exit of the previous processed uh, nest with the loading of the new empty bios nest. In this way, the machine optimizes speed and allow us to process up to 200 units per minute when processing 1 ml long syringes. For this format of bio, the line is set at 120 units per minute. And we could see how we are combining the filling with the half stoppering procedure. The machine, or with all servo-driven movements, combines and synchronizes the feeding of plungers, um, the feeding of stoppers, upside down, and the direct insertion. Exit of the nest is done automatically, introduce it again into the tap, and finally exit it to the next uh, processing station where we are going to manage the loading and unloading system for the freeze dryer. The next processes we will see will be the automatic loading of the tray into the lyophilizer, the insertion of the stoppers by the lyophilizer, and the removal of the trays automatically, robotically from the lyophilizer. One more time to Barcelona. After the filling process, once the tap exits the filling uh, unit, we get into a module which is used for transferring, buffering, and selection of the processed uh, nest. If we are working with bios for uh, freeze dry bios, the machine automatically loads and unloads the freeze dryer. But if we are processing syringes, cartridges, or bios not freeze dried, we have a front exit where the bile and the nest is directly transferred to a conveyor. To proceed with this loading and unloading uh, procedure, we work with the shot nest. This shot has a specific design where we are docking one nest to the other in order to properly push and pull nests to, in, to the freeze dryer and outside. Loading and unloading system starts with uh, denesting. An automatic pick and place takes the nest out of the tap, and the robot directly picks the nest and go directly inside the freeze dryer. We uh, connect one nest to the other. Meanwhile, we are exiting the empty taps. The process is done repeatedly until we finalize the complete loading of the freeze dryer. In this uh, loading distribution, we have three lanes of nests with six nests in depth. The system is completely automatic and the robot is controlling its right and accurate position.
at the end of the loading system, the machine indexes shelf in order to proceed loading the next shelf. When the whole process is finalized, the freeze dryer starts with the lyophilization cycle. The unloading procedure is done right after the stoppering procedure. And the stoppering is done automatically by the freeze dryer, right before the unloading system. Stoppering sequence usually it's done or uh, it's done always with the freeze dryer doors closed under vacuum. But just for a better viewing, we are just doing a simulation of the stoppering process with doors open and the pizza door in order to see how we are stoppering all vials. We could see how shelves are stacking one to the other. When the freeze dryer is completely loaded, at this stage we would be already stoppering, but now we need to stack all the upper shelf until the current load shelf could really proceed with stoppering. We are working at 40 bars pressure in order to properly and uniformly stop all vials. And right now we could see how the upper shelf starts pressing and doing stoppering. Once vials are properly closed under vacuum, the stoppering process moves backwards in order to upper the shelf and proceed then with the unloading of all nests with a similar sequence that the one we followed before, but in the opposite way. Now we could see how the shelves are moving up and when taking the original position, the unloading sequence would proceed. Finally, shelf took its original position and the robot could proceed with the unloading sequence. After stoppering process, robot starts with unloading of nest sequence. is the same as before, but backwards. We are taking one nest by one. The third row is pulling the second row through the docking design of the nest and positioning it directly to an exit conveyor, which is going to go to the next uh, machine of the line. Tom, thanks for connecting. Goodbye from Barcelona. You are all welcome to Barcelona if you want to get more information or visit us in order to learn more from Dara. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thanks, Joanne. We appreciate you and time and all the Dara team's efforts here. I'd also like to thank my partners, PharmaWorks, for hosting me this week and all the work George and Hal have put into this presentation. I'd also like to thank everyone for taking their time to attend today. And any of the questions that have been posed in the Q&A on the website, I'll be answering over the next few days. If you'd like any additional information on any of the Promoc companies or on Dara machinery, anything from tabletop, high-speed commercial manufacturing machinery, laminar airflow, RABS, or isolator-based technology, please reach out to us. Are there any questions? Thank you, Thomas. Uh, there are a couple. Um, first one is, can the machine be equipped to handle RT syringes or cartridges as well? Absolutely. Any, any of our nested filling systems can handle cartridges, vials, or pre-filled syringes. And we can also build combination machines that will handle RTU products as well as bulk products in the same machine. Excellent. And we have one more. Does, uh, does DARA provide machinery for handling of bulk vial syringes and cartridges as well? 
Absolutely. So we can handle bulk product and components as we provide washers, depyronization tunnels, end of line tray loaders, and many other modules and technology in between to handle your bulk components. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for is a great, great presentation and also being able to go ahead and, and be able to integrate, show how it integrates between yourself and Dara as from the machinery and having that visual between the two organizations was excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you guys, we appreciate your time. Uh, thank you. So once again, I wanna thank our sponsor, Pharmaceutical Online, for their efforts in putting this event together. Uh, please, please visit Pharmaceutical Online uh, when you're seeking any educational or technical resources. Uh, such as white papers, case studies, equipment technologies, and industry news.